The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. From, from my home state, from Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indiana. There he is, the host of the Uncle Ducky show, Uncle Ducky. There he is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from his farmhouse in Allen County, Indiana, the host of the Uncle Ducky Show, the one, the only, Uncle Ducky. Yay! Thank you for waiting so long in line for tickets for tonight's professionally produced television show. Welcome to the Uncle Ducky Show. Hey, hey, Dr. Ducky. Yes. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's wind blowing right now. Oh, you the listen wind. To it? You hear it? There, there's actually... <laughs> That's <laughs> the worst <laughs> wind I ever heard. <laughs> Pardon my French, boys and girls. Anyway. I don't even know French. Hey. So there's snow? There's that... snow out in the pasture. Oh. Check it out. Right there it is. Best. It's like it's like old scripts or something. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey! hey. Yes. Get in my fur. Mrs. McHenry, how hey. are you tonight? I'm good, Uncle Ducky. How yes. are you? I am blessed. Thank you. Hey, hey, excuse me. Um, don't you hear a basket lowering? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord yeah. basket. Here it comes. Whoop. Well, thank you, Mr. Caulfield. Well, How well, are sure, you tonight, Mr. Caulfield? Well, sure, and I'm fine. And get your hat on, and I'm wishing you the best of luck on tonight's show. You're going to need it. Okay, thank <laughs> you. Oh, oh, oh. All right, thank you very much. And then the ratchet sound does it when it... Oh, yes. So, do we have a couple of guests that are going to... Uh, can you tell Cuckoo that we need to talk to Cuckoo? <laughs> yeah, Cuckoo, Cuckoo, okay. <laughs> You know, so, you know, when I got this job, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it does get me out of the house every hour. Was that a joke? <laughs> oh, my God. So, and what, t oh, and what is your name? Charlotte. Charlotte. Look, Charlotte, introduce yourself, quick, right to that camera right there. I'm Charlotte Pierce. Yes, and she's in guard at, she's going to be in guard at Homestead High School, and there's somebody else from Homestead we're going to meet later on. Good. Well, thank you, Cuckoo. That was uh, a good joke. I never have any that aren't good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, look, it's Cal. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> right. Hey, uh, ow, oh, oh, I'm trying. Hey, uh, okay, there we go. Thank you. I can never get good help these days. days. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, I, I just wanted to say that Tristan's going to be a little late. He's feeding the chickens right now. Um, but I also saw that... <laughs> what the heck is... <laughs> what the heck kind of a... What the heck kind of a chicken sound is that? <laughs> anyway, okay, good. Well, uh, yes, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. Okay. Okay, so he's... He, um, and he also saw that it's snowing. He said he wanted to build a snowman. He'll yes. uh, show you a couple photos. Uh, actually, you wrote a uh, cope of photos. I think you went a little too fast when you're typing. Right. Good. Okay. All Thank right. You. So, good uh, night. I'm going to call Jody X to see if she can get a hold of Tristan because the show is on. Is that New York for what? <laughs> I like that accent. 
Hey, uh, Jody X, would you please get a hold of Tristan? I know he's feeding the chickens. He's doing his chores, but we're on, uh, there's, a, there you go. There he is out there in the pasture. <laughs> okay. And have him come on the show. Okay. Yeah, Uncle Becky. Yeah, they're fine. Hold on just a second. Yes. Tristan! Hold okay. on. Okay, I'll go get him. I'll go run and get him. Okay. Hey, I, I think she's running out in the, in the field. I, I'm watching her. She's really fast. Okay, good, good. Hey, hey, I got something else to tell you. Yeah. Hey, guess who I see coming along the other way? Oh, who? It, it's the mayor of, of Allen County, Miss Marilyn Williams. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to call. Uh... Well, no, wait. Well, did she want to appear on the show? Is that okay? Yes, but we need Colin to escort her in the police car. Anyway, I see him too, uh, 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 Uncle Ducky, Doctor, whatever you are. All right, they, they, they're here. Dingo. There's... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Marilyn, oh, welcome to you? the Ducky Show. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you again, Uncle Ducky. Hello out there in TV land. Good to see everyone out there. Hoping everyone's having a nice warm day with all this snow outside. Mm -hmm. And not only is she the mayor of Allen County, Indiana, she also works at the McMillan Park Community, Community Center. Center. Yes, where we play pickleball. So are you going to show us a couple of books we can check out yes, at, from am. the library? Here is one with snow. Uh, it says it's snowing. You'll be able to check this out at the library if you can get out. And here is another one, snow. How about that? <laughs> so if you get a chance to get out, come on down to the library here in Fort Wayne, and hopefully you'll have fun. Thank you. Good to see everyone again. Bye-bye. Okay. Hey, uh, Doc, hey uh, Dr. Ducky. Yes, wait a minute. Come on oh, here. Foot. Oh, foot. Oh. Hit. There's a couple more books you see. Yeah, we got some uh, farm hand over Oh, the farm hand. Books. Look. Oh. And oh. some snow with it. Oh, it's getting snowy. <laughs> it's getting snowy. Well, why don't you go and show these books, too? Okay. Good idea. Cool. All right, and here are two more. That is snow about snow also. Mm. And you can take that out. And yes. here is another one about snow. So come on down if you can get out, okay? All right, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Again? <laughs> yeah, wait another minute. Okay. Hey, hey, Ducky, don't you think you should invite her to back to her our next show? If you'd like to come on <laughs> yes, our next that show. That would be great. And oh, that's the farm hand. Sorry. Hey, should you invite the farm hand? To <laughs> yes, and Miss Marilyn also. Yeah. Hey, farm hey, hand. Yeah, farm hand's right here. He's got something in his hand. I, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look oh my at goodness. that. That's beautiful. What is that? It's snowing, yeah. too. And it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're going to have a great time. On the mic, on the mic. Looks like we're going to have a great time today. So Hope you, you enjoy the show. So can you come back on March the 27th? Yes, that would be great. I will come back again. Yay. Thank you. Yes. And the farmhand, could you come on our show on March the 27th and play the trumpet? I think he said yes. <laughs> okay, Yay! that's right. Or she, whatever, I can't, you know. Look under the, look under the trumpet. <laughs> okay, oh jeez. All right, thank <laughs> you, right, thank farm. You. Thank you, Miss right, Marilyn. Bye -bye. And Colin. Thank you, Colin. Hey, uh, Dr. Ducky. Yes. I, I just, I just want to make sure everybody knows it's very important to read to your children, whether they be humans or little groundhogs or whatever you know what i'm saying always read to them that's correct yeah. it's a good thing and yeah. we have one of the finest libraries in the united states and a renowned genealogy department and uh recently with within a year the uh abraham lincoln collection here at the downtown allen county public library well, that is... oh Phone. <laughs> Uncle Ducky show, go ahead, you're on the air. Yeah, Uncle Ducky, it's Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman, how are you? I'm doing great. But you know, recently on the TV quiz show Jeopardy, 
None of the contestants knew the answer for what the province was immediately west of Ontario. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, and you know, since you and Mrs. Claus and myself are from Ontario, we all know that it's Manitoba. So I think on every show, I will educate your audience about our country, Canada. That's a good idea, and you look on the screen, see, there's Quebec, Ontario, Manitoba. Yes, and we're going to learn more about that country. Maybe uh, you can talk about the Royal Mounted Police on one of our shows. I can do that on our next show. Okay, thank also, you. Also, yes. uh, we have an audience member by the name of Grace, and she sent in a painting that she did of a snowman enjoying the snow. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Grace, for submitting that picture. Uh, Brian, look at that. Here, put it back on, Norm. There you go. Isn't that nice? I think she's in third grade. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, maybe you could have Jody X talk to the audience about getting out and planting and playing in the snow. Okay. Uh, after I uh, finish talking to you, I'll dial and see if I can get Jody X to appear on our show. Okay. Thank you, uh, Frosty the Snowman. Bye, Frosty. Bye, Bye. Frosty. Yay. Did you dial nine to get out first? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Let me do that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Jody? Hello. Yes, so uh, Grace sent us a nice picture to the show <clears throat> of, of Snowman with Snowflakes. Would you come out and uh, we had a bunch of kids that uh, submitted pictures during that little snowstorm we had like three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I can come out. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I see you're coming down the lane. Okay. Hey! Oh! Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. Hey, um, Uncle Ducky. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm here to talk about um, some of the pictures and videos yes. that the kids submitted with um, building the snowman. Yes. So. And the reason why you have your coat on is because it's. Because it's snowing, snowing and outside. It's our snow day. Yeah. Yes. And it's really important to wear a lot of layers. If you're gonna go outside, make sure you wear um, lots of layers, not just one big coat, but lots of things underneath. And watch your toes your fingers and your toes and your nose. Watch all the things up above so that they don't get frostbitten. And oh, if you get good. a little too cold, you gotta go inside and warm up. Yes, so Norm's gonna put on pictures that there's, oh, who's that? That's Sloney Extreme and Mila. Mila, yes. So that's their pictures mm -hmm. from the storm. Because it was a wet snow and everyone was out making it was, the Yeah, it was snowmen. great to build snowmen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's some more. Oh, who's? Uh, that's I don't know. Theodore. Theodore. Yes, yes. And uh, his dad says, before you can play, you have to shovel snow. And I Ooh. think Norm has a picture doing of your chores. doing his chores. Oh, that's perfect. You know who would like that? Festus would have liked that very yes. much. He's all about doing your chores. Right. That's perfect. Do we have more pictures? Yes. Oh. oh. You know who that is? Mm -mm. That's Roxanne. Oh, Roxanne. Mm -hmm. The granddaughter of uh, Tammy Meredith from the Jackson R. Lehman Family YMCA. Oh, that's so cute. Look at those kids. Ah, uh, those are, that's uh, uh, Grace and Ava. Look, they're having so much fun. Yes. Oh. Guess who they are? I don't know. That is my two grandbabies oh, from Indianapolis. That's yep. so cute. Yeah. Well, yeah, and it's good exercise too, especially yep. if you've been cooped up in the house. Mm -hmm. And it just helps you get out. And when you get outside, it actually uh, increases your endorphins and it builds your immune system a little bit. Can't be out too much, but going in and out from the hot to cold, it really helps you not be sick in the wintertime. Yes. It's good for you. So, and there is oh. our neighbors. By the way, uh, um, Quinters and Hazel are my granddaughters, so <laughs> you know that I remember that, but those are my next door neighbors. Mm, that's very cool. Look at and that. And who's that? That looks That's like Sue Johnson. Oh. Susan Johnson, hi Susie. Thank you for send, submitting that picture. That's nice. Boy, a lot of stills from that story. I know. Yeah. Hey, do you know, I heard about Tristan. Did you know he made a scary snowman? No, he did. I wonder, I wonder if he'd come out and introduce his scary snowman. Maybe. 
Hey, Tristan! Uh, uh, I'm about to eat Jody. We have a problem. Oh, what's that? Uh, Tristan just tore his shoulder, so he needs a chair. Ah. Oh. oh. We'll get him a chair. Oh, thank you. We can get older. Here he comes now, everybody. Uh, thanks, guys. Okay. Yeah, I Here. tore my shoulder. Ugh. Did you really? Yeah, he did. It was real bad. He doesn't need that. Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, wait, neither I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, uh, so you submitted two pictures also, Cal. Uh, I thought it was him. Oh, Lordy. Uh, Tristan, I didn't know your mother-in-law was in town. Oh, my hey, God. Hey, hey! <laughs> what the heck is that? A tower or what is that? That was the beginning of your snowman. That was the beginning you... of my yep. snowman. Mm -hmm. It looks like something that it's inappropriate. Nope, and that's a monster. That's the mon That's the snow monster. Actually, when I, uh, when I did this, actually, Kel, why don't you tell the story? Dude, I wasn't even there. No, you were. <laughs> Come on. Okay, fine. When he was building the snowman, he did not know what was running through his head. He just decided to pick up the snowballs and just build. At first, he wanted to build a mutant. That did not work. At first, he wanted to build something else. That did not work either. So he decided to build a snow monster, a great big one. And you know what happened to that snow monster? It fell right over. Oh my God! Yep, during the winter time, it fell there it right is. over. That's the one. It fell over. Well, during when it melted, uh, I'm afraid it went droop, down that way. And um, well, I guess my old snow monster wasn't just meant to live, dude. There you go. It was made of snow. <laughs> snow melts. <laughs> and also, that was not a snow monster. That was my mother-in-law. Oh boy. Okay. She is scary at night. Yeah. You know how scary she is? No. She how? is so scary, she makes my hair turn white, and I say, Look, it's a ghost! It turned out she was just wearing her face makeup. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, well, I just thought you guys might want to hear the story. Yes, well, that's very nice. Well, thank you for coming on the show, Cal. Uh, no problem, uh, Uncle Doc. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we don't. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Uh, no problem. Bless your heart. Okay, thank you for being on our show. Uh, no problem. Oh, by the way, Jody. Bok, bok. <laughs> we hope you feel better. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Good. Do you want this chair here, Uncle Ducky? No, we don't need it. So while you're out there, why don't you introduce your public service announcement? And we did this on Fright Night in October. It's little Oliver. Remember the kid in the wagon? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, thank you. Hey, in October, when we were at Fright Night, we met a kid in a little wagon. His name was Oliver. Hey, Norm, do you have that video? Hi, there kids. This is Jody thank Extreme, you. and we're down at the Allen County Public Library, and I'm standing with... Nick. And... Oliver. Oliver. Oliver just got a book from the discarded book sale. Oliver, what book did you get? My heart. My heart. Oh, and I bet you can't wait to read it, can you? Yes. Yes, well, no, he was reading it just a second ago. So kids, please come on down to the Allen County Public Library where it's a great place to get discarded books. Do you know how much they are? 25 cents. They're 25 cents or they're even five for a dollar. So kids, just like Oliver, come on down to the Allen County Public Library. Well, that was very nice. Thank you, Jody X and Little Oliver. And those were discarded books. You know, you can get discarded books at the library. Here's the book, Me and the Boss. You know how much this book cost? No, how much did the book cost? Mrs. McHenry, this book cost 25 cents. Ooh. Yes, and Norm, if you can zoom in on this book. He will. There you go. Me and the boss. I feel like yes. that right now. Me and the boss. Right. You and the boss. It's the, yes. You're the boss. Right. And you can get five for a dollar. So come on down to the library and uh, you can get discarded books that are very, very cheap. So. That's amazing. Yes. Now it's time.
for Saloni. Saloni, come on out. Yay! How are you doing? Good. Good. So, what is your announcement? Um, I'm going to announce about an, an author who's a high school teacher from Fort Wayne um, introducing his new book on March 27th for Before the Dream, right? Yeah, yes. Before the Dream. Yes, so you, would you like to show that to the camera? Do I see the author's name or no? Yeah, Christopher Elliott. There you go. So bring it out and, f no, so it's not oh on the, yeah, there you go. Ooh. Do you know what school it is? Yes, it's Bishop Lures High School. Okay. He's a teacher there, and he's going to be on our show on the uh, 27th of March. Isn't that interesting? Great. Well, thank you for being on the show, and thank you for that picture with you and your, uh, Cousin, is it? Nieces. Nieces, okay. Thank you. Sloney, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Farmer Lafferty, boys and girls. Hey, all right. I need to talk to your conscience. Okay. <laughs> Somebody oh, needs to talk to my conscience. You know, a clear conscience is a sign of a bad memory. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, well, it's... Yeah. And most men have a clear conscience because they never use it. <laughs> okay. And if at first you don't succeed, destroy all the evidence and act like nothing happened. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if at first you don't succeed, do not try to do skydiving. Because <laughs> you don't get a second chance on that one, I'll tell you. So do you want to talk to my conscience? He's right there. I know, but he ignores me. <laughs> and not without good reason. Well, I like your jokes, actually. They're better than the jokes I have. So. Well, I want to hear yours. <laughs> uh, no. They only make me look bad. You know. are your jokes are Manitoba? just too good. Are they from Manitoba? Uh, no, the jo jokes are from Newfoundland. Yeah. Oh. oh. Do you have a new Finland joke? No, I don't. Well, great. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up, for gosh sakes. Why? You know, Uncle Ducky, it's a, yes. it's a good thing to encourage anyone, young or old, to keep moving, and when it snows, get out and enjoy it. Yes, that's true. So I will say good night. All right, my conscience, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a nice round of applause yeah. to my conscience. There you go. Good job, conscience. <laughs> yes, thank you, Farmer Lafferty. Glad to do it. I'll see you again next week. Okay. Yay! You, so, can't, uh, have, you can't have laugh without Lafferty, you know. So, uh, Ponzini, <laughs> how do you think the show's going I think so I think this is the best one all day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> anyway, so, boys and girls, I want to admit something. Skippy the Fisherman, we have a PSA from Key West, and I brought some stills in. So when you see this, there's four inserted pictures, and I was told it's about sea turtles, okay? But I was told the picture that I had inserted was actually of a tortoise. Is that correct, Norm? Yeah, right? Norm's shaking his head. Yes. So, anywho, here is Todd Allen in Key West, Florida, and uh, this is a PSA for the library about sea turtles. Todd Allen at the docks in front of Turtle Crawls. And the reason we're talking about Turtle Crawls is because our subject is under dry tortugas. We want to talk about how many eggs a sea turtle lays, how long it takes us to hatch, the size of the eggs, and um, how many do survive. Yep, that's what we're going to do. But if you want to learn more about sea turtles and hatchlings, how many survive, go to your Allen County Public Library and check out a book, and you can learn. But I'll give you a hint. The turtles lay usually about 100 eggs each, and they will come up to the shore and dig in the sand, and they will take about 100 days before they hatch. They also will uh, usually one to a th out of every thousand will actually live. But you can correct me on that if you go to your library 
and check to see if I was right. Thank you very much, Skippy the Fisherman, with that tip about sea turtles laying eggs. This is Todd Allen, Allen County News. Well, that, that, was, was, that was great, uh, Dr. Duck. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice PSA, yeah. and I apologize. It was a tortoise, not a turtle. Uh, you, know the, you know how you tell? Yeah. No. Uh, a turtle is spelled with an R. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Hey, that was a great show, Dr. Ducky. I think that was uh, great. I, I think, is it time for a little trumpet playing or not? No, he's, no not yet. we're going to introduce James Pierce, who is at Homestead High School, and uh, he was actually on our show, The Farmhand, that handed out books. So uh, why don't you introduce James Pierce? Uh, James Pierce is here, ladies and gentlemen. There, here he is. Here he goes. Hey. And you can see he's got that glove as the farmhand. Oh, yes. now you know how we do it here. That's... So he's going to be on our show on the 27th of March. But before that, he's going to play just a smidgen on his trumpet, and his dad's going to take a picture of him, okay? going to practice that too before he comes on the next show. And he did that, that with a farm hand glove that on. <laughs> But it's a ducky show. That's what happens. And we don't know what he's going to play, but he's going to play something on our next show. And that'll be a lot of fun. So this is the end of our show. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Drive safe. Good night, everybody. Drive safe in that snow. Production facilities provided by Access Fort Wayne. Learn more under the Explore tab at acpl.info.